Hey guys, Zach King here with another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today we're going to look at a vector shape and have it animate over a map. I'll show you the effect. So there you see it's kind of a nice nice animation if I don't know you want to add it to a website or a video. I've used this in an infomercial a couple times uh, highlighting different products or prices or text on a page. It's really useful kind of a nice animation going around in that oval and uh, I got this map from MapQuest so if you want to follow along or do this after you watch this just get a map and or something and start circling your stuff away um, let's start here we got a map of Seattle and uh, you know once you get that into your browser drag that into your timeline then go to this little button here this is your video generators button now I have a vector shape right there but uh, that's because I've been using it recently the most whatever you use recently will be at the top there but uh, since it's not there for you guys probably go down to your Boris and vector shape and I'm gonna make sure this V2 is selected and overwrite that on there trim that down good and uh, make sure you select your your clip in the timeline when you work on it come to your controls and it would be helpful if I had the playhead over the clip we're working on um, see we have two options here we have a rectangle and an oval um, for this effect I think it looks a lot better with an oval so you probably want to do that I mean there's plenty of times you can use a rectangle and uh, they've also got these cool corner types you can get concave and uh, straight convex and th that's a whole nother tutorial um, you can do tons of stuff with this this vector shape thing but right now we're just gonna click oval couple things we have this white area that's blocking most of the map or at least the part we want to highlight and that's gonna be fixed by coming down scrolling down to the fill you want to uncheck that box now that every it's gone and that's because we have nothing checked here we don't have the border on we don't have this fill and uh, let's scroll back up to the top and let's get the border number one check that box and you'll see a black line default color but I'm gonna change that clicking on the color thing and I'm gonna get this red that that's a nice red right there that looks fine it's a little thick for me I'm gonna narrow it down a little bit there we go nine that looks good um, and it's, it's kind of centered yeah if, if you wanna make this small if I wanna focus it more on Seattle um, that little star it has on the map. I'm gonna lower this, and I'm gonna take the top down a little bit, and uh, maybe the right move that in. So you can almost make it. You could actually make it a circle if you wanted. I'm gonna keep it more of an oval, and uh, then drag that kind of center it right there. That's looking good. Now come up to your motion tab, and this is where we're gonna add the drop shadow and that looks good you could pass with that I like to soften it down just a wee little bit right there okay that's good so um, here's the animation part it's very simple a um, couple keyframing things drag your playhead to the beginning of your timeline and I'm gonna take this border begin right here and take it all the way to 100 that gets rid of it completely and uh, add a keyframe so hit this little keyframe button and you'll see right here if I zoom in on that you can see a little keyframe in there and uh, you'll see another one pop out when we scroll out to where we want to end um, you if you wanted a fast animation you would end there and it would literally circle so fast or if you wanted a longer one you could end here I'm gonna probably go about here I'm gonna take that all the way back to zero and you saw animate there kind of and see there's that other keyframe um, and you could do other things with this keyframe right click on it and you have an option for smoothing which basically would um, oops I deleted it um, which basically would make it slow down near the end and there's a couple fancy things you could do but I'm gonna be simple right now for this tutorial and uh, there it animates on looks looks fine um, you could render render it here. Um, select both of them and hit 
Apple R. You get that thing rendered. And uh, yeah, play around with this vector shape tool. It's really neat. There's a ton of different options you could do, uh, you know, with the rectangle, with this, the um, oval and uh, colors. You can also do different kind of animation. I think you can also, yeah, you could take it into Z space. So that's pretty neat right there. Uh, play around with it though. It's it's pretty cool. And uh, I think that's the end of that tutorial. So check out our website for the upcoming tutorials. We got some good ones coming up. We're also going to be hitting on motion and some 3D effects. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys later.